Okay, in this video we're going to uh, remove the screen from a Dell Latitude D620 laptop. Um, we'll go over, you know, removing the screen from the base, you know, just in case your screen's bad and you want to just use it on an external monitor. Um, so, to start with, of course, we got our handy dandy cobalt micro drivers. Okay, I got, I use the number zero Phillips. Where you got there, zero? Anyways. And then I generally use a 530 seconds slotted. Um, of course, the kit comes with various different sizes, all the way down to uh, 3.0 as far as Phillips goes, which um, I've only ever used that size once. Okay, so in order to, uh, to get going here, we have to, um, well, first, let's remove the battery. Okay. Let's set you down. Let me set the camera down here. Once again, battery removal is just moving the tabs out, pulling the battery towards you, and lifting her straight up. There we go. Battery's out. Bam. Done. Okay. Now, we got to open the hood. Okay, let's see. Open the hood here, see what's going on here. Okay, first thing we got to do is to remove the hinge cover. Okay? Now, on this, on this uh, Dell Latitude, it's, it's a very thin hinge cover. Um, and it is in there pretty good. So, sometimes, you know, it feels like it might break. But as long as you are uh, gentle with it, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, first you want to get some, some, something with a flat edge into this, into this little divot there. Lift up, get it started. Now I find that uh, as you lift this up, if you keep pressure, if you keep pulling up and to the right, okay, you don't want to pull too much, you know, you want to keep pressure going to the right this way so that you're not uh, snapping it, you know, breaking the, breaking the hinge cover. And you just keep applying upward and rightward pressure. That comes out, comes out there. Okay, you're done with that part. All right. Next, you want to get the keyboard out. Okay, the keyboard is removed. You have a second here. Fucking shit. All right, one, two, three. Three screws. All right, you want to get them up. That one's out. Come over here, this one. Get that out. Okay, come over here, this one. Okay, they're all up. Then what you're going to want to do is there's these little tabs here on, on either side. So you want to, what the hell I got right there, there and there. You want to get something such as your slotted screwdriver. Get it worked in. You want to pop one side first. Alright, so you're going to be a prick now, huh? Alright, it's just a matter of getting that son of a bitch. Alright, let me get a different screwdriver here. Something a little bigger. Okay, now it's being a jackalope. Alright, I'm going to set the camera down and get all these little Phillips screws right out of there. So they're out of the way. Okay. There we go there. Okay. Let's get you. You're up. You're up. And you're up. Okay, I'm going to start over on this side. Okay, got that lifted out there. Okay, there we go. Started from the other side and was able to lift her out. Now you want to get the screws out of the way. You do not want to be losing them. Okay, once you have that done, you just flip her over. And right here, okay, this is your cable connector. Just take your blue, this little blue flag here. You want to get that... Take this and just pull it straight up. Work it straight up. Okay, that's good there. Now you have to get this blue catch up. So what you do is you just slide this over. Okay, so we got the we got the cable off. Now, like I was saying, we gotta get the this blue this blue thing off here. And as I was saying, let me get some light on here. To do that, let me take the glasses off. You gotta you push this back and then and then pull this up. So I gotta set the camera down. It's a two-hand job, unfortunately. Well, oh, let's see here. Maybe I can zoom in on it. Okay, we'll try that. Alright. So we move this puppy back. 
slide you back out of the way, and there, lift the cable at the same time. That comes up. Okay. So there we have our keyboards off. Okay, we will set the keyboard off the side. We'll zoom back out. Okay. Now, this is also a good time, you know, once you get all this stuff apart to, to like I say, clean out, get some compressed air, blow out your internals. The fan here is quite filthy dirty. Anyways, <coughs> once you get that done, then you have your wires that you have to unhook. Here, these are your Wi-Fi wires. They come here, run up there. They go into the screen frame. Okay, over, out here, around, blah, 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 bam, into your card. There's your wireless card, all right? Um, your <coughs> video card is right here. This is the, or this is the cable for your, for your um, screen, right here for your video card. So that'll have to get disconnected, and like I said, these wires all have to come out from their routing. Just remember where they went, so when you go to put them back in, you know, you'll get them right. Okay, well, you can reference the video here. So there's that, and then you got the ground or whatever this is coming out down into here. So we'll start with this. This is another one. You just lift the tab, and you lift up, and there you go. Bam. <coughs> your your uh, screen is disconnected from your video card now. Get you out of the out of the path here. Make sure that's set aside. Your um oh, this is part of your this gray one here is part of your Wi-Fi. Okay. So in order to get it off the card, you just, these pop off, these, these connectors, they lift off. They lift off. Let's see here. Let's get you over here. They don't, you don't have a whole lot of room to, to work. Okay, there. That one's off. Now we'll get the black one. Okay, there we are. That's off. Okay, now we can work at the at getting the wires pulled up from, from where they're routed here. We want to get this one up and out. I should go get my little set of picks. That's probably probably what I'll be doing here in a minute. Just want to work your wires out. Get up there. Over here. Let's see here, we'll take, let's get this one out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Alright, there we go. We're getting it. Slowly but surely. <coughs> Son of a bitch! Okay, I'll take you over there. I'll take you out. Okay, so this side is free. Now we just gotta get... This side here, the white and the black and white. Okay, we want to get you up and out of there. 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 Now we got to get our, our black wire here. Hmm. Okay, we gotta get that up over there. Kinda hard to do when you're holding a camera. Okay, so. There we go, finally. Success. Of course, when you're doing it with two hands, it'll be a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so we got all of our wires up and out of the way here. So that's good. Now, what we gotta do is close the hood, flip her over, and you wanna get out the two screws marked D. One, two. Okay. You wanna get them out. Okay, and take note, these ones these ones are longer than the other ones. So just make sure you keep the right screw with the with the right hole. Alright, there we go. We got them two out. 
Now we're going to flip the laptop back over. And open the hood back up. Open it all the way down. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Dumbass. Never mind. Keep the hood closed. We want to get the two screws from the back. One, two. Okay, we want to get these out. So I'm going to set the camera down for a minute. All I have at this. Okay. I'll try to turn it so it's visible. These are also long, so you don't have to worry about mixing them once up. Okay, bam, done. Okay, now we're gonna flip it back over. All right, camera here. Okay, then it's just a matter of lifting her straight up. Okay, and get your black one. And there you have it. Okay, so you have your screen off. Now, you, if you put your keyboard back in there, you can put your Wi-Fi wires, put your Wi-Fi wires back up. If you know if you have a bad monitor there or bad screen, and uh, just run your external external monitor until you get a replacement screen for your Dell Latitude. Of course, the easier way to do this, I mean, unless you're going to replace your screen, if you just temporarily want to want to make sure it's disabled, is to just, when you remove the keyboard, take your, your cable off your video card. And then, when your computer boots up, it's not going to try to boot, you know, it's not going to try to use your, your screen first. It'll just go right directly to the uh, external monitor. Um, all right, so, we got that. We will stick her back together. So, I'm going to set the camera down. We got to get it. When you get your new screen, of course, if, if you have it complete, you just got to put it together in reverse order. If you are just getting the screen itself, then you have to disassemble the frame, um, which I'm not going to do because uh, this screen is good. Um, disassembling the frame, it, there's really nothing to it, um, as with most any of them. You would just remove these um, black stoppers here, the rubber stoppers. All of them, uh, even, even this one to check to see if there's a screw there. And then you'll, you'll remove... There'll be little little bitty Phillips head screws in there that you'll remove. Um, and then you can separate your screen frame from, from the base, from the back. Um, then there might be, you know, a couple little screws inside of, you know, after you remove that to get to get the actual screen out of the out of the screen, out of the metal, if there's a metal frame in there. Um, but that's really, really nothing. Um, apparently the inverter looks like it's going to be in there also. So your, your inverter will be, of course, at the bottom here once you get it popped apart, so... And if you get a screen, a screen that already has an inverter, I'm sure it'll just be plug and play. Anyways, that's it. So I'm going to stick, stick it back together. Let's see here. Let's see if there's any issues we run into when putting it back together. All right. So here we go. We'll take our... I don't know what this is for. This has got to be for some... I'm going to use it for in the hospitals and crap. Probably got some extra stuff they plug into there. Okay, so we got our hinges set in there. We can just... Close the cover. Once again, we'll take our screws, reinsert them. Let me see. Okay, get her in there. These ones here, you want to, you know, snug them up, but do not be reefing on them, as with any of the screws in this thing, because, of course, because they're little screws. All right, now let's get this one. Move the hinge cover out of the way. Get that. Oh, you son of a shit. Excuse my French. Okay. There we go. Snugged up, snugged up. Now we can take the bottom. Remember, put it in holes with the D on them. D, D. I don't know why they didn't put S on there. It seems like S for, you know, screen would have been, would have been better than D, but oh well. Get that in. You tightened up. This is actually a real easy screen removal. Um, I mean, crimey sakes, it's all good. I just, it's almost as easy as replacing the RAM in this thing. Let me put you back in there. Alright, good. Okay, now we'll flip her up. 
open the hood. And now we can fart around with the with rerouting the wires. Okay. I'm gonna get that stuff worked in there. Get worked in. Oops. Wasn't even in the frame there. Get all that stuff worked down in there. Just make sure we're good. That looks good. They just dead in there. W W A N W A N W A N. All right. I don't know what the hell that is. W A N. Some sort of a W A N card goes in there. Huh. Okay. We'll get our get our black one in. This one. It's pretty straightforward. There's a there's a uh, groove cut right out for that puppy. Yeah. Okay, get you down. This was the part that was a pain in the butt. Huh. Well, it went in easier than it came out. It's usually the opposite way. I'm gonna get my little slotted screwdriver. Just wanna make sure we're all done in there good. Yep, that feels good. Alright, now we'll get... We'll first do the, the video cable. One in here, like, let's see, you went, video cable went up, there, and here. Okay, then we'll get you back on where you belong here, and then just push her on. Okay, so your, your monitors, hook, your screens hook back up to the, the video card. Just make sure we're all tucked in nice and good. Okay, now our, the remainder of our Wi-Fi. Let's see, you went, oh, you know what, I should put that at first, because that went, that went under, goes under right here first. There we go. And there, then it came here on the outside. Okay, then here, there, let's see. I'm trying to remember how the hell this went, okay, yeah. And that went there. The gray one came here. And in this slot, if I can get it. Like so. Now, if I can do this one-handed, nobody should have a problem doing it two-handed. Okay. That's in there. Beautiful. Thing of beauty. But I think that the Wi-Fi's were under. Eh, maybe not. It's still gonna work like this. I'll have to watch my own video and see. See what it was. Okay. There. It's in there. Now we'll just take and hook up our Wi-Fi card again, which this is always fun. You just pop the ends on. Oh, not a black one went in there easy. Okay. I'll just take you. Just turn sideways. So I'm going to have to get you on there. Come on, you prick. Okay, that's on there. Now we just want to get our wire set over there. So that's that. That is hooking your wires back up. So we're good there, good there. Oh boy, freaking tough on the back. <coughs> okay, there's your RAM, that's your A stick. All right, oh, now we just gotta hook the, uh, put the keyboard back in, which is another simple operation. Let me set the camera down for a minute, then we gotta flip her over. Okay. So, we want to take, son of a bitch, that enter button, damn enter button on the keyboard, it's broken. Okay, just want to take this, and get it over top of the, the connector, here, and then just push it straight down on, that's all there is to it, just like that. Then, take your blue 
little pain in the ass wire holder thingy majiggity here. Get you there, pop it in. That's it. Flip your keyboard back up. Get your get it started in the bottom first. Get your little grooves lined up there. Come on, bitch. There we go. Slide that in. Set it down. I'm thinking that enter button was was busted before because there's no way that should have just popped off of there. Then you wanna make sure that your little that your keyboard goes under these little notches. Here you have them on either side. Then you get that. Then your keyboard, it doesn't lay flat down. You see how there's some, some flex here, some give. But once you get your screws in there, that snugs everything. It snugs everything up. So we'll do number one. Here's first screw. Remember, just just snug. You don't want to be reefing on them like it's some grade eight bolt or something. Get that one in. And number three. Where the hell you at? There you are. So that's all in there nice. Now putting your hinge cover back on, again, it's somewhat of a pain. Um, you just get these two notches, you start in on the driver's side here, push them down, you want to work it in, and you see how it kind of pulls away here as you go over. So you gotta work that, work it down, push down and then up, you know, towards your, towards your screen. As you go, get it in here, then of course you gotta get this one, this piece in here, so push that in. Then you just gotta go through and verify, you can see, you'll be able to see here, if you're away from the, from, uh, if you're away from the body of the, of the laptop. Just get that, make sure, make sure everything feels good. Alright, that feels good. Flip her over. Stick the battery in. Just you know, get in there, lay it down, and just push it into the laptop. Check your battery. Good power. Flip her over. Okay, here we go. Fire her up. Make sure you don't blow out the monitor. Good. And there you have it. That's removing the screen from a Dell Latitude D620 and replacing the screen. That's it. If you've got any questions, ask. You can also subscribe if you want. All right, see ya.